Hi Josh, and you're watching 600 Bob's Builds, where I walk you through some of my creations. In this episode, we will be going over the construction and installation of the lower manifold for my water-cooled rack. The lower manifold, also known as the supply manifold, but I call it the lower manifold, because, well, it's lower. The manifold itself is actually meant for in-floor radiant heat. My dad had one lying around. This manifold has proportioning valves for each output. This allows me to adjust the flow to each computer, so if a computer produces more heat than the rest, I can increase the flow to that computer. This assures that all the computers will get enough water. To monitor the water flow, I have a sensor on each output of the manifold. I also have a temperature sensor on the supply line right before the manifold. Everything is inside a stock 2U rack mount drawer because, well, I didn't feel like making anything. The flow sensors were a pain in the neck. They use a G3 quarter thread, whatever that means. This thread, unlike MPT, is straight and uses a washer to make the seal. I needed to convert this thread into NPT or PEX. Luckily, I found one guy on eBay that had a G3 quarter to NPT adapter. Gotta love the internet. On the other side of the flow sensor, I needed a barbed fitting. Luckily, I found on eBay again a metric G3 quarter to metric barbed fitting. Now, while the barbed fitting is metric, it's close enough to half inch to make a pretty good seal. Maybe a hair thinner, but uh, that's what hose clamps are for. Unfortunately, the fittings are too long. I was about to trim them using a bandsaw, but then I remembered that I have a lathe. I don't know how I forgot about the 3,000 pound lathe sitting in the machine room. Anyway, I threw the fittings in the lathe and trimmed about a quarter inch off of them. The original manifold assembly had two manifolds on it a supply and a return. These manifolds were attached to a mounting bracket that would allow you to mount the assembly onto a wall. This bracket was staggered to allow hoses to pass underneath one manifold to get to the other manifold. Some modifications had to be done to the manifold mount in order for it to fit inside the drawer. Because I am only using the supply manifold, I was able to trim the mount to make it a bit shorter. Then I flattened out one of the sides of the mount. This allowed the manifold to point at a downward angle. This pointed the proportioning valve handles upward which makes adjusting the flow a lot easier. Now it's time to drill the holes for the output lines. To do this I am using a hole saw. The holes are a bit oversized to give me plenty of wiggle room. Now it's time to pipe the sensors to the manifold. To do this I am using Fosta packs. A ring is placed onto the end of the PEX, then the PEX is pushed onto the fitting and the ring is crimped. I am using PEX because it is pretty much the only thing that will go onto this manifold. Fosta PEX, unlike normal PEX, utilizes aluminum foil to help keep oxygen out of the water. Also to push Fosta PEX onto normal PEX fittings, the aluminum has to be removed. So after piping, I mount the manifold. To do this, I just used quarter 20 machine screws. The drawer will be at the bottom of the rack, so I'm not worried about the heads poking into anything. Now, I install the supply line. It's just a 90 degree fitting off the manifold, then a piece of PEX, then a copper T for the temperature sensor, then another piece of PEX. After the final piece of PEX is a barbed fitting which pokes out the back. And the supply manifold, also known as the lower manifold, is done! Be sure to check out the other videos in the Water Cooled Server Rack series. Also be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That way I know I'm not talking to a void. Or am I?